You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be,、um, they should look pretty good if possible. At least dress well.、Um, they should be someone that puts you in a good mood, has a positive energy, and if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. But first, we need to set up some code words, right?、Yeah. So, if you're talking to a girl, but then you decide you like that one, then you're going to say this girl's crazy, and that means you like that girl. Okay. And then, if you like the other one and you want to do the switcheroo, you're going to say, "Oh, Richard, I was just thinking about that time in Italy." All right, that、yeah. one. And then, if you decide that you don't like the girls, you can just say, "I'm going to go to the bathroom," and then I'm going to say, "Okay, I'm going to go as well." Whatever, right? If we don't,、yeah. if we don't like them. If you like the girl and you want to take her home, then you can just say, "What could you say?" Uh, does anyone want some chewing gum?、Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So those are our code words. Yeah. If you go out with your friend and you talk to lots of girls, you would find that you have situations where you said, "I thought you liked her." No, no, I didn't. Well, why was I talking to her friend for thirty minutes? I don't know. I thought you liked your friend. So, in order to avoid all these kinds of、uh, miscommunications that can happen, it makes sense to just spend a little time thinking about the possible eventualities and coming up with the code words. Even though it does sound a bit geeky, it actually really helps in practice. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're gonna get lucky tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, I feel it too, man. Oh, oh, look at those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one do you like? I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. You don't know? Go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I, I don't want to be embarrassed.、Mm, all right. All right, dude. Look, if you don't go and talk to them, I'm gonna go over and just scream in front of the whole bar. Drake likes you. He thinks、don't、you're sexy. He wants you to be his、that. girlfriend. I won't do it if you go and talk to them. Deal? Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. Yep, this is good. Sometimes people need a little bit of a kick, you know, to get started, and so whatever it takes is good. Going in together is what a lot of guys do. It doesn't work too well. Much better if one of you goes in, kind of warms things up first. What should I say? Look, girls are always talking about two things: shopping or they're discussing men. So just go over there、yeah. and say, "You guys male bashing," and it will probably work. Yeah. Yeah, like ninety nine percent. So okay, yeah, I'll give it a go. That's not much. Same thing. Oh. Oh, hey girls, are you male bashing? Um, not now. Oh, you're great. And by the way, my name is Greg. I'm Greg. Vicky. Oh, and you? Monica. Oh, it is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is a nice opening line. It often works because either they are talking about guys or they're not, but they probably were not long ago. So it usually brings out a laugh, which is always a nice way to start in a bar or club when the girls smile and laugh. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that. Get them comfortable.、Uh, make sure that they feel good, and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late,、um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute looks right. But when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together, ideally smiling, you can get in there. Well, what an amazing party! Yeah, such a nice club. Yeah, I like it.、Mm-hmm. Hey mate, who are these two? Oh, this is Vicky and Monica. Hey, hey.、Hi. I'm Greg's friend, Richard. Nice to meet you, Monica.、Um, Monica, right? Nice、yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's correct because you don't want to just talk to him, take the attention of the girls away. 
and it's maybe a bit strange to just suddenly start talking to the girls. So it's correct to quickly engage your friends, but ask him to introduce you, and then you can go on to talking to the girls. So what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like reading. Yeah, what do you yeah. read? Well, now I read Harry Potter books. Really? Yes. Oh my god. What? No, that's bad. So it means you're like 12 years old or 13? No, 14? No, no. No, 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 no not even yes. close. I thought actually. only young girls read Harry Potter. No, it's not. Have you ever read Harry Potter? Yeah, I read the first one. Uh, didn't like it. And I watched the second movie. Oh, well, you know. Didn't like it. <laughs> I know it's popular, but I thought it was, you know, a children's thing. But no, it's not. No? no? It's got some good stuff. Yes, I think you should try it. You know. I did like that she gave all the money to charity, JK Rowling. You know? she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very cool. So. Yes, that's I really good. Like so it's good that you're supporting. If you, did you pay for it? or you? For boost? Yeah, or yes. you download yeah. it. No, 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 I paid. That's I bought good. it. Cool. Yeah. Well done, you're being a good wingman. That's exactly right. Um, you want to help him out this time, maybe he'll help you out this next time. And by talking to the other girl exclusively, you free him up to do his thing with the girl that he's into. I like reading too, actually. But wow. don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by yeah. stuff. Well, you know, maybe, but my friends yeah. read all the, the time, so yeah. yeah, yeah. We should start a reading club. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, just, I think they do that, right? Like everyone reads the same book and then he talks about. Yeah, it's actually, actually, it's pretty cool. Thing. If you can agree on the book. Well, not much, really. Yeah. You know, you share your opinion. Well, it's pretty cool yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To discuss. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's rare for me to. Meet someone that likes reading, it's yeah. pretty cool. Okay, so yeah. well I done. think you have a very nice voice. <laughs> yes. When you're being the wingman, you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable. That means that you don't need to do so much teasing and things like that, but you do need to give some compliments, have a friendly conversation, and basically talk her in nicely enough so that she's happy to talk to you, but maybe not too much so that she likes you. And by the way, what are you drinking there? Champagne. It's yeah. pretty good actually. So. Oh, cool. Cheers. Amazing. Cheers. Oh, ladies, uh, let me get you another one. Oh, thank you. Gentlemen, eh? Yeah. You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend, such a great guy, because, you know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend, and I called him at like four in the morning, and he said, I'm going to be there right away. And oh, he got wow. out of bed, came to me, and was talking to me, you know, all through the morning and stuff, didn't sleep, and it really made me feel better. And I knew, because he could have said, oh, I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, whatever, but he was really there for me. So since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And, wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's my So friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend. Yeah. This is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game, because if you can do this kind of thing for your friends, and if they can do it for you, it has a huge effect. When you say things about yourself, it's bragging, it's bad, but when someone else says something about you, it's incredibly powerful. So think about something nice that you can say about your wingman, and try it next time. Yeah, so that's good anyway. I'll... Look, hey Rich, he needs my help. I'll just get the drinks. Hang on a second. All right, what have you got here? What did you get me, whiskey coke? Yeah. Hope it's a double. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, so cheers. cheers everyone. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> And you normally drink champagne? Yes, I really like it. Yeah? What yeah. about cocktails? Yeah. Well, no, Vodka? Yeah. No. Beer? No, definitely How about beer? 
Nice. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. Strange, but hang on a second. Hi, it's my mum. It was her birthday today. She just said, like, thanks again and whatever. Have a look. Oh, she looks like. Whoa, she's so pretty. She looks young, right? That's why you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, that's nice of you to say. And actually you're so pretty, you've got Thank such a you. sweet smile. Thank you, nice to hear. But you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little bit. But that's cute, I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But this, what is it they say, it's always the quiet ones? There's some like, English expression. The, the quiet ones are trouble. Well, maybe that's true. Yeah, true about you? Maybe. Alright. The worst situation here is if your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need to keep your girl interested and so as far as you can without being dishonest, you want to work hard to make her like you. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. What food do you like? Well, I am a vegetarian mm. for six years now. Oh, nice. Can you believe it? And you're still alive? Yes, as you see. Okay. No, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay. Seems quite um, trendy at the moment. And I saw lots of documentaries like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives. And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better. So. That's all. And you, you're a healthy person in general then? Well, yes, I think so. And actually, I really love animals, so I just can't oh, eat them, you know. Animals. <laughs> Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Okay. What about you? No, I, I have fish. I have an oh. aquarium with fishes. Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> And is Vicky vegetarian? Well, no. no. She likes meat. Okay. But do you live together? No, no. Ah, okay. No, I don't. Do you, who do you live with? If I can ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live alone actually. Okay, that's good. And tomorrow... Actually, what do you... Do you guys work? Are you working tomorrow? Well, I think... No. No, you're no. both free. That's yes. cool. That's nice. Get to relax. Yes. I've got to work, but it's okay. Not doesn't matter if I'm tired. No. <laughs> Anytime you're meeting girls out in the night, then you want to find out stuff like whether they live together. You know, all this stuff comes under logistics. And it's very important when it comes to uh, deciding on the next steps and if you'd be able to take these girls somewhere else or to your house. Seems like they're getting on very well together. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they look great together. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they match like that. Because he actually likes yeah. tall girls, and it's so hard yes. for him to find someone his height. That's really cool. So he's really such a nice guy. How is she? Is she a good girl? She's a wonderful girl. Yeah. I think your friend is very lucky. Like Alright, well hopefully they, you know, they make it, but yeah, let's just chill and, and see what happens. This is very nice, you're not saying it publicly, you're not saying it to her, but you're saying it to the friend, because you know that after this interaction, they're going to speak about him, and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend, so it's the correct choice, nice one. Monica, what do you think? This place is getting a bit dull, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. Alright, let's get yeah. Vico and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, go yeah. for after party? Yeah, um, it will be yeah, great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Think it's she a good idea. Yeah, yes, yeah of course okay. All yeah. my Maybe ideas are good. On. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go.
Brilliant. This is exactly the way to do it.、Um, you don't want to leave it to him, and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing. Then your friends are going to be three, and the final girl is going to agree to it because you know she's just going to be outvoted. I'm on the road to riches, driving by ya. Why these niggas won't pop my tires?